This is uh, obviously an important vote that is uh, coming up. And I repeat, I'm not opposed in principle to bringing up the defense bill and debating it, amending it, and voting on it. I'm not opposed to having full and informed debate on whether to repeal, don't ask, don't tell, and then allowing the Senate to legislate. What I am opposed to is bringing up the defense bill now before the Defense Department has completed its defense bill right now, because we need to know the views of the men and women who are serving in the military in uniform. Give them a chance to tell us their views. Whether you agree or disagree with the policy, whether you want to keep it or repeal it, the Senate should not be forced to make this decision now before we have heard from our troops. We've asked for their views and we should wait to hear from them. And all four service chiefs have said the same thing. Let's conduct the survey, let's get it done, and then act on whether to repeal or not repeal. There's one other aspect of this, Mr. President. This is a blatant political ploy in order to try to galvanize the political base of the other side, which is facing a losing election. That's why the majority leader said we would take up Don't Ask, Don't Tell, take up the DREAM Act, and then take up the issue of secret holds, and then address the other issues after the election. I wonder why the majority leader would have those priorities. In other words, take up those that would be politically beneficial, galvanize his political base as far as the Hispanic community is concerned and the gay and lesbian community, and then take up the, the other issues after, after the election is over in lame duck session. I have seen this, this majority leader has invoked, has uh, filled up the tree and has not allowed debate 40 times, 40 times, more than all the other majority leaders I had it before uh, preceding him. And we need, and last year, the hate crimes bill was arranged in such a way that there was not amendments that were, that were, could be proposed by my side of the aisle. So let's vote against cloture. Let's sit down and try to reach some kind of an agreement. Let the men and women in the military be heard from. Let their leaders uh, go to their men and women who are serving and tell them that we have heard your input before we make this legislative change and stop the cynical manipulation of the men and women in, military, in the military in order to get votes on November 2nd. Mr. President, I reserve the balance of my time.